If you are in search for the best and beautiful Linux distribution of all time for your PC or laptop, then this video is made for you. There are innumerable Linux distros out there in the market which offers a wide variety of features and all of them work the same way but aesthetically it's not eye-pleasing and user-friendly. You know, unlike Windows and Mac OS, Linux gives a full control to an end user to choose the flavor they need. Now, being an open source, Linux has a large community base which extensively works on different distributions for its users to provide the best desktop experience. Now, every distribution works very hard by putting its efforts to make Linux comfortable for desktop users. Today in this video, I'm here to show you the top 6 best and beautiful Linux distributions of all time that are more intuitive, refined, and gives a stunningly beautiful experience of the Linux operating system. Now, all these operating systems, which I will be presenting in a moment, can be used for personal computing, multimedia consumption, programming, and whatsoever. So without further ado, let's dive into this video. Now, Qtfish is the new desktop UI for Linux distributions and has been built using an open source software which uses Ubuntu Arch Linux as a base foundation. Now, this is the default desktop screen you would see after installing. Now, as you can see, there is a stunning new wallpaper has been applied to the desktop. You can see the menu bar on the top and the system controls on the top right. The system controls are quite similar to the Mac OS new control center which has a refreshed look. You can see a few toggles which are not customizable by an end user. Now, it's time to talk about the dock, it's more futuristic and looks very minimal. A dock is a place where you can pin your favorite applications to get started with your work instantly. Now within a DAW, you can see there is an option called the Launcher. Now from here, you can view all of the installed applications. And these are the default Qtfish applications that are written using their framework and looks incredible. Now overall, I would say Qtfish OS is a very clean and gorgeous Linux distribution that uses Ubuntu as a base and offers a distraction-free user experience that is easy to use. The next up we're having the most stylish Linux distro called Garuda Linux. That is the Arch-based Linux distribution that features a super slick user interface and incredible features that come preloaded out of the box. This Linux distribution comes in different desktop environments like KDE Plasma, GNOME, XFCE, and more. The one which I'm using is a KDE Plasma modified version. It comes with an amazing theme out of the box that looks eye candy. Now, along with that, the developers have added a blur effect throughout the system and the super fancy animations that flow throughout the system attract the user while navigating the UI. Now, in other words, it's a well customized KDE Plasma with a beautiful theme. Now, apart from UI, this distro features a BTRFS file system instead of XD4. The primary focus of this distribution includes a fault tolerance, repair, and easy administration. If you talk about features, it comes with automatic snapshots out of the box using a time shift, a Garuda settings manager to tweak the system, and a lot of GUI 
Unity tools that are pre-installed, which lets you install the emulators, gaming tools, and more. Now, overall, I would say Garuda Linux is a rolling Linux distribution that receives the latest software from time to time and keeps your system up to date. Nazorin OS is made to be an alternative to Windows 11, designed to make your computer faster, more powerful, and secure. It is one of the refined, underrated Linux desktop OS, which features a GNOME desktop environment. You know, aesthetically, the Zorin OS user interface is eye-pleasing. From beginners to high-end users, everyone will appreciate the UI of Zorin OS. It is super user-friendly and gives a level of comfort that you can't even get on any desktop Linux. And those who are expertise in Windows will easily able to adapt the UI. The Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu and uses an APT and Debian package mechanism to install software packages. Now talking about a features, Zorin OS features a dock, launchpad, app store, desktop pages, and more. The all new dock is fully customizable. You can add as many applications as you want to the dock. Now when it comes to the core UI features, Zorin OS offers a dark theme, accent colors, and desktop layouts. Now this way you can customize the UI as per your liking. Now, unlike other distros, Zorin OS offers uh, multiple editions for different users, the Pro Edition, Core, and Light Edition. Now, out of which, Pro Edition is a paid OS, offers a premium desktop layout, business and media applications, and over 20 games pre-installed out of the box. So if you can't afford the Pro Edition, you can choose either Core or Light Edition, which is for free. Now, overall, I would say Zorin OS is a beautiful, user-friendly Linux distribution that runs super smooth on any older PC or laptop. Now, Fedora has a reputation for focusing on innovation, integrating new technologies early on, and working closely with upstream Linux communities. The default desktop in Fedora is GNOME 41. It's always a developer-friendly Linux distribution. And Fedora comes with all necessary development packages and also provides a several developer-friendly spins for core development. It is a surprisingly a stable Linux distribution that adopts the latest packages. Now, I have not encountered any crashes or anything unusual for daily work in my oral usage, which involves browsers, basic tools such as the document viewers, video players, checking mails in Thunderbird, and more. Now, I think Fedora is now ready for a general desktop users more than ever. Since Fedora is a Red Hat based Linux distro and uses a DNF, a powerful command line package manager that holds a ton of open source packages that are ready to install along with their dependencies. Now overall I would say Fedora 34 with the latest GNOME brings a super stunning, lag-free, powerful desktop experience for an end user. Now if you are a user who wants the latest and greatest features of Linux, then Fedora is the one to integrate first. It is meant to be super stable, more secure, and helps the user workflow easy than ever before.
Now, Elementary OS is a reliable and robust Linux distribution that looks very close to Mac OS and provides a cutting edge user experience. Elementary OS is based on Ubuntu LTS with an updated Pantheon desktop. Now, when it comes to the user interface, take a look at the dock the applications menu, the calendar, and system controls, everything looks magnificent. The built-in system theme and accent colors applied for default applications give a classic user experience. All the default applications that comes with elementary OS are fantastic and built using their framework. When it comes to multitasking, using the hot corners, you can view all of the running applications. It gives you full control to an end user that helps you quickly doing some actions by hovering the cursor to the edges of the screen. Since this distro is based on Ubuntu LTS, you can use the APT and Dev Package Manager to install or remove the packages. Also, there is an App Store which is available that lets you download a thousands of useful applications. Now, overall, I would say if you're looking for a classic Mac OS lookalike Linux distribution, then Elementary OS is the one made for you. Now, Deepin OS is a Linux distribution based on a Debian stable branch. It features a Deepin desktop environment built on Qt and available for various distributions. The Deepin OS is a well-made, artistic, and a beautiful, practically easy to use, and at the same time, it's a special Linux distro that no other free software desktop system could ever be thought of to be. The desktop's visual consisted of wallpaper in the background, a single long and transparent dock at the bottom, uh, full of a deep install icons and a functional desktop area where applications and files can be placed on. Now you will be able to appreciate how Deepin OS is well made for end users. It is simple to look and simple to use, but intuitions alone and simplicity can be felt everywhere inside it. Now take a look at the default applications that comes with this OS which has been made using their framework and the level of efforts made by the developers are overwhelming. Since this distro is based on Debian, you can use APT, Flatpak, and other app services to install GUI and CLI-based applications. It has a standalone app store that doesn't rely on GNOME software or KDE Discover or even a Flatpak or Snap either and relies on the longest time working a Deb-based standard packages. Now overall, I would say Deepin OS is one of the unique Linux desktop that looks very close to Mac OS. Now, moreover, it's an open source and can be used by anyone who wants the simplicity and the best taste of Linux ever. So what do you guys think about it? So these are the eight top six most beautiful 
Linux distros of all time that are stable and provides a solid desktop experience for your PC or laptop. Now let me know what you think about it and also comment down below which Linux distro you are currently using and why you love the most. And that's pretty much it. So in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Consider clicking the bell icon to receive the post notifications when we post a new video. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Ryle. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye-bye.